for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Sheets, as always. Got my last Mad 24 preview video for you guys today. We're going to be going over top 10 team overalls on offense, defense, and the overall rating of the game. Uh, before I do, if you guys want to continue this, I'm probably going to continue to do more Madden 24 preview stuff before the game comes out. Woo! So make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go get right into the video. I got the top 10 teams on the board right now anyway, and uh, you've probably been looking at the order. There are two teams on this list that I think are totally out of place that really don't make sense, but I'll start at the top. Uh, which is the Chiefs. The Chiefs won the Super Bowl last year. They gave them the highest rating of the overall teams. I don't really know where they come up with these ratings, these overall rating numbers. I really think they just kind of make them up based off of what they want. The, the, the you know, I don't really think it has anything to do with the actual player ratings. I don't think this is like an average of anything along the board. I think it's just a number that they give for like to, to, to mark to note like a strength of a team. Uh, so to have the Chiefs number one makes sense because they did win the Super Bowl last year. The Eagles went to the Super Bowl and lost, so them coming at number two makes sense. But after that, they seem to not follow that process anymore because the Niners are all the way at the bottom of this list at number nine with an 86 overall. So to me, if you're going to continue with that you know, strength of team uh, based off of last year's production, the Bengals should be third and the Niners should be fourth. The Niners are really lowly rated at a 9. That doesn't make any sense. Last year, everybody was saying they might have the best roster in all of football, or a good portion of people were saying that. Who did they lose in the offseason? If they ended last year's game at like a 90, who did they lose in the offseason to go down four points? I, I can't think of that. Jimmy Garoppolo? Like, I don't really follow the Niners like that, so I may be missing somebody, but I know they added Javon Hargrave, a, a Pro Bowl defensive tackle, so you would think that might raise their rating, if anything. But they must have lost somebody really important that I don't know about uh, to drop that far in the rating structure. Um, but like I said, that's that's probably my biggest one. They should definitely be in the top five. So after that, they have the Ravens at 87, which is fine. But the Browns at 87 seems a bit high. I, I don't know. Once again, I don't know if this is based off of last year's success or just the overall strength of the roster. But if the Browns are clocking in as a seven, or as the will tie for the sixth highest Madden rating. They have to have higher expectations than, I, than I'm aware of. I don't expect the Browns. Uh, they're not a team I really think of that's going to do anything necessarily. But I do understand where this rating comes from. Especially, like, I mean, the offensive side, they have a lot of really highly rated players. They have one of the best, if not the best, running back in the game. Amari Cooper. Um, some of their linemen are rated in the 90s. So I can understand if it's based off of roster. But uh, I, I just they just seem out of place when I look at all these teams. I expect all these teams to be competing for something. And I don't really think of the Browns in that way. So having them there, like I said, tied with the sixth highest rating uh, is confusing because I don't I don't even know if they're going to make playoffs. I don't even know if anybody's expecting for them to make playoffs this year, <laughs> let alone be amongst the, the top contending teams. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Like I said, there's a couple there that uh, I don't really agree with. But let's go and let's move on to top ten offenses and defenses. Uh, coming in number one again, we got the Chiefs. Like I said, looking at their roster, they have no receivers at all. So it's really weird to see them come as the number one offense. I would say the Bengals probably have a better offense as a whole. But that's why, I mean, they have a tied rating. So it's it's really hard to, to nitpick. Um, Eagles coming in at number three with a 90. I definitely agree with the Bills at an 87. I, I'm not sure about that. I mean, they're, they're, they're another team. I don't really think they have a lot of highly rated linemen. I don't think they have a lot of... Um, highly rated receivers after Stephon Diggs and, and, and Gilmore. Their running backs are kind of just like a dime a dozen uh, running backs. I don't understand how their rating is that high, uh, but it is what it is. The Cowboys definitely have all that. Like they, If we're going off of the roster, they have highly rated quarterback, running back, receivers, um, two linemen. I mean, I would think it was based off of ratings. They would probably be above the Bills. Uh, but like I said, I don't really know what this is based off of. I think I think they make up these numbers, and uh, you know that's that's kind of my whole point. Uh, the Vikings at six, I agree with. They definitely have some of the best offensive weapons in the game at tight end and receiver, um, so I can understand that. I think the Dolphins should be higher on this list though. Uh, coming in at number ten seems way too low. They should probably be pushing for like top seven or something like that. They should be much higher rated uh, because of some of the weapons that they have on the offensive side. Uh, facing strong, we're going to go to the top 10 defenses. I definitely think the Niners are the best defense, but they should probably be a point separating them from every other team because they were that good last year. 
Um, the Bills, I don't think they should be number two. I think the Cowboys are probably the second-best defense right now with their secondary being how it is. And I know the Bills have a really good secondary, so I'm not going to argue too hard for that. But those are probably the top three defenses. I really feel like the Jets are too low. I think the Jets should be a little bit higher. Um, they're probably, to me, more going to show off like a like a top five defense this year. You know, but that's uh, I'm not going to make a huge deal out of that. I don't know how the Chargers have an 84 overall rated defense either because every time I, I attack... Justin Herbert, we're not attacking him really, but every time I talk about Justin Herbert, how I don't think he's real, I think he's just like a stats guy, he's not really that great. I get all these people responding to me saying, well, their defense is horrible, and that's why they don't win more games. So then why is their defense in 80s? I mean, I think I think it's true. I think their, their defense was rated like 28th or something last year. So how is their defense rated? Like I, said, I mean, once again, if it's based off of player ratings, which doesn't seem to add up to real life success then, you know, this is kind of how the, like I, my argument with the Browns. Like, they're not really good in, in real life. Um, so why are they so highly rated in the game? So I'm going to go to my end of the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button link in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.